Okay, the handle pivot pin is shown to you as a full section. Half the part's been removed, and we are just going to go ahead and revolve this part. So let's draw out our rectangles and make this look about right first. Always start on your origin. It looks like there's a little chunk taken out of each side. Draw in a couple of rectangles. Take out the bits you don't need. And we need to measure the entire dimension is 1.594. doesn't look right. Uh, from this edge to the skinny edge is 0 0.0625. To the next one is 0.125. This is going to mirror that. So I can just click on these, use that as a reference. For this diameter here, I want half the diameter for the radius. So half of 0.25 is 0.125. And before I do that, I should probably fix a couple of things. So let's make a horizontal constraint with these two endpoints and these two endpoints and let's actually dimension the inside of this first. It's going to be half of 0.1875. I should probably add a horizontal constraint with these two points. And now let's go back to our 0.25. Half of 0.25 is 0.125 and now we can revolve using the middle as our axis select OK this is chamfered on each end 0 0.02 apply And our handle pivot pin, if we look at our bill of materials, is made out of, well look at that, handle pivot pin doesn't appear to be on here. It would make sense for the handle pivot pin to be in a handle subassembly. So let's look for our handle subassembly. And it's not here either. Then let's check for the main assembly. All the way at the top of your paper. Handle pivot pin, no details. It's in button press assembly. Here's our button press assembly. Handle pivot pin, steel. Okay. Right click, I properties, physical, material, steel. Oh, not steel alloy, just steel. Select OK save, handle, pivot, pen. 